Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sky, and today I'm going to be giving you guys a crash course in graphic liner. This is going to be my guide on how you can master graphic liner. Now for reference, I don't know what my eye shape is, I'm going to be honest. I believe I have hooded eyes and my eyes are almond shaped, in addition to my brows being quite low set, so I don't have a lot of lid space to work with, because graphic liner will look different depending on your eye shape. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys my recommendations of what my favourite eyeliners are, my favourite brushes, tips and tricks, but hopefully I'll be able to help some of you master graphic liner. So if that sounds interesting, let's get started. First I'm going to talk about my favourite liners to use. Now there are a lot of different brands of eyeliner out there. You can even use liquid liner if you don't want to invest in pot liners. However, my personal favourite liners, as we can tell, can I show them without them all falling out? <laughs> my personal favourite liners are cake liners. These are my best friend. Now, if you aren't familiar with cake liners, these liners are basically dry. As you can see, this one is unused. And when you touch it, nothing comes off. And you activate these with water. So even though these do require a little bit of a learning curve, I find that when you have the consistency that you want, it's very easy to mix it up over and over and over. And these are budge proof. Even though they are activated with water, they do not move on my eyes. I will say if you do have watery eyes, don't use these. <laughs> Do not use these because um, they're water activated. They're gonna cause a mess. Although I do hear that some people use setting spray in place of the water in these to make them waterproof. I've never personally tried that because I don't have watery eyes. But maybe that's a tip if you do have watery eyes and you still wanna use these. Some brands do palettes of cake liners. I know that Midas Cosmetics has a couple of cake liner palettes. And if you wanna get a bunch of colors all in one go, then go for a palette. I personally like buying the singles because you do have the cap and I like putting the water in the cap right here. I find that with the palette you don't really have a designated area to put your water in. I mean that can be solved, you just get a little cup, fill it with water, but I like that the convenience is just right there. Now I own two brands of water activated liner. I own Suva Beauty and Glisten Cosmetics. Now a lot of people ask me which brand do I prefer and me personally I way prefer Glisten. But the reason why I prefer Glisten over Suva is because one, they are UK based. I live in the UK, it's easy access to me. Two, you can buy Glisten liners in two different sizes. I believe this is the three gram size and Suva only sells them in 10 grams. However, Glisten sells these in three grams and in 10 grams, so if you want the bigger size, the option's there for you. Suva, it only limits you to this big ass size. And I prefer buying the smaller sizes because one, they're smaller, and two, these are gonna last you forever. It's gonna take a long time to go through a 10 gram. Three, Glisten has a shitload of colors. I mean, think of a color and they probably have it. They also have some really good deals, like you can buy a bundle of liners and save money, and I just prefer, overall, I much prefer Glisten. This sounds like an ad for Glisten, but it's really not. <laughs> I just fucking love them. And that actually segues me into um, some exciting news. I thought that this video would be the most appropriate video to announce it, that I have my first ever affiliate code. And it's with none other than Glisten Cosmetics. Now this video is not sponsored by Glisten. This is not a sponsored video. I just wanted to share that this is some fucking cool news, okay? I do have a referral link in my description down below that you can shop through, or you can use code SKY10 at checkout to save 10% off, and I do make a commission off that code. If you don't want to use it, no pressure, but it's there if you want to save some money. I can't believe I have a discount code now. Bro, this is so cool! That being said, Suva Beauty have released a new liner palette. This has a black, a white, and all the primary colours. And if you are just starting out, I highly recommend this because, for me, I have full sizes of a black and a white and the primary colours. This is great starting out because you can mix up any colour that you'd like. And these are colours that you will definitely go through a lot. I use these to mix a lot, especially the white. I've actually hit pan in my white. Probably not going to be able to see the pan because I use this so much that I accidentally covered the pan. But um, So yes, when you first start out, absolutely get a black and a white. And then as you expand your liner repertoire, then you can buy more colours. I will say the first colour that I recommend buying after your primaries and your black and white is purple because Purple is notoriously a motherfucker to mix. Any art student out there will relate to me on this because um, you just don't mix purple. It does not work. <laughs> the next question I get a lot are what brushes you recommend. Now, I have a few brushes that I recommend right here. A lot of brands that sell wet liner do sell brushes too. Glisten sells them, I have two of them right here. And I really do like these a lot. However, if you want some really cheap and really high quality liner brushes for your wet liners, 
Go to the craft store and buy a pack of watercolor brushes, a cheap pack, it doesn't need to be expensive. And I recommend watercolor brushes specifically because, like I mentioned earlier, these cake liners are basically like watercolors, they act very similarly. So watercolor brushes work the best and they are the thinnest. These three that I'm holding right here are from my local craft store and they work perfectly. And you can usually buy a pack of them for very fucking cheap, or you can buy them individually, really, really inexpensive. This brush, for an example, was two pounds. Another good recommendation that I hear a lot of people talk about are nail art brushes, because those are also very fine. Just go with whatever is the most easily accessible to you. Anyways, I just loaded you with a lot of information, let's get on into the liners. Alright, I've zoomed you guys in really closely, now let's start off with the liner. I'm going to be using the shade Cherry Aid from Glisten Cosmetics, because this is super bright, I haven't actually used this colour yet, and this colour will be very easy for you to see on my eyes, so we're gonna go with this one. Now me personally, I like to prime my eyes before I do my liner, purely because I have very oily eyelids, so so um, I kind of need a primer regardless. Sometimes I apply eye primer even when I'm not wearing makeup because my eyes are that moist. And today I'm going to be using the Kaleidos Tone Activating Eye Primer. I'm not a big fan of this eye primer for eyeshadow, but because this has a tint and it matches my skin tone pretty well, I like to use this for graphic liner because it just cancels out the veins in my eyes. Now if your eye primer leaves your eyes tacky, I recommend setting them with your setting powder. This is so your eyeliner will not grip to certain spots. Then it gives you a nice, smooth, even canvas. Now the liner brush that I'm going to be using today is the Glisten number no. 6. We're going to take our cap and this is a spray bottle full of water and I'm just going to put some water in the cap. You don't need a spray bottle, I just like having it because I do liner all the time. You could just go to your tap and run it. And what we're going to do is wet our brush right here. And then what we're going to do is mix up the liner. And what I like to do is just go in small increments and dip my brush in the water and then dip it in here. And you slowly keep adding water until you get the consistency that you want. I don't like to spray the water directly in the liner because then it gets the entire thing wet and you can usually go overboard with it. That's why I prefer having the cap so you can just go in and control it a bit better. Now this is the consistency that you're looking for. Nice and smooth, not too watery. I will show you an example of what it looks like if it's too watery. This is what it looks like if you add too much water. You see that it glides on really nicely, but it's not really strong. It's harder to control when it's too liquidy. Want something that is nice and smooth, and it has a nice amount of pigment to it. Do you see how this is slightly transparent, not as opaque as this? And when you add too little water, it won't be as viscous and it won't glide on. You'll kind of get like drag marks. So anyways, we're gonna do a very simple liner shape today. We're just gonna be doing the wing out here and then it comes into our fold. Does that make any sense? Now another tip that I'm gonna give you is make sure that you pluck your eyebrows. This sounds like a very weird tip, but trust me, if you have a lower brow bone like I do and you have thicker brows, I have to pluck my eyebrows every day because they get out of hand very fast. But when you have brow hairs and you draw over the brow hairs, the liner will not stick to it very well and you'll see the brow hairs in the liner. It's not a cute look. So for me, I always like to pluck my brows right before I do graphic liner. I did pluck most of them today. Now next, if you're sitting on a table, put your elbow on the table and you want to do a nice long stroke like this. Hopefully I'm in focus. Like that. Another tip I'm going to give you is be confident with your liner. Don't be shy with it. Because if you work in small sections and you do a little bit, little bit, little bit to make this one line, it's not going to turn out super smooth and so even and as sharp. If you do one big stroke like that and you're confident with it, you'll get a nice line. Now, as you can see right here, it's slightly less pigmented because I lifted up my brush. And as you can see, I accidentally bonked my face. I didn't mean to do that, but I'll show you how to clean that up later. But I'd like to go over my line again to make it thicker. Now for my liner, I want my line to start here and go and connect with this line. However, I find it a little bit more difficult to do one big swoop like that. You can do that if you feel more confident. However, starting out, I like to start in the center of my eye connect it to the wing, and then work on the inner corners. I find it gives you more control. You have a little bit more working room if you do make a mistake. So I'm gonna do that right now. Another tip I'm gonna give you is rest your hand on your face. Obviously make sure you wash your hands before you do this. 
And normally I like to do my liner before I do my face. But if you rest your hand on your face right here and your elbow on your desk or on something hard like your leg, it'll keep your arms stable. And if you have a little bit extra right here, just clean that up. I'm just gonna make my eyeliner a little bit thicker. And now I'm gonna do the inner portion of my eye. Again, one big stroke. And you can see right here that my brush skipped a little bit. So what we're gonna do is just go over that. And there you go. If you do mess up on the outer corners here, just take a cotton round with a little bit of makeup remover and then just clean up your edge. If you have done your face first and you messed up your eyeliner, take a little bit of concealer on a very small paddle brush and then just tap out the outer corners here and then set it with your setting powder. That will clean up the edge nicely. This is a very simple graphic liner shape that you can do. I find that this is the easiest one to start out with first. Now I'm gonna be honest, I was blessed with a pretty steady hand. Thank you, parents. So for me, I never really struggle with my arms being shaky, but sometimes if I drink a little bit too much coffee, my arms are a bit shaky but I find that stabilizing your arm by resting it on something always helps. And with this liner shape, you can leave it right here or you could add more colors. I was gonna do this off camera, but I figured it might be helpful if you saw me do this liner on camera. However, I'm not gonna be talking through this. I'm just gonna put music over so you can just watch. <laughs> Alright, so this is what my liner looks like. A few other tips that I'm gonna give you as well that I forgot to mention earlier. When you're flicking out your liner right here, make sure that you follow your waterline. You see how my waterline and lower lash line come right here and then seamlessly flow into the liner? That's what you want. So make sure you use that as a guide for how to angle your liner. Of course, if you wanna try different styles, you can bring it out a bit more straight like this. You can even bring it out a little bit higher, more curved. But if you want it to flow with your eye shape a bit more, follow your lower lash line and waterline. Another thing that you saw while I was doing my liner, I wasn't looking head on like this. This is my face resting naturally and just looking at you normally. I find in order to do liner the best, lift up your eyebrow and tilt your head back. And with your mirror, don't hold it straight on like this. Hold it underneath your face like this. If you have your brow lifted, your face tilted, and your mirror at this angle, you'll be able to see your liner a lot better and you have a nice even flat base to paint your liner on. Because if I was doing my liner with my resting face, I wouldn't be able to do the inner portion because it's completely gone <laughs> with my resting face. I personally love this liner shape on me because it kind of elongates my eye nicely. Once you master this shape, you can pretty much do almost anything. And I find the best time to practice is actually at the end of the night. So if you're already wearing makeup, just grab a bit of liner and then just do it on top of the makeup that you're already wearing because you're gonna be washing it off anyway. It doesn't matter if you make a mistake and no one will be able to see it, so it's not that big of a deal. Now you could just stop right here and leave it as is because this is a nice liner shape, but for me and my extra ass, I'm gonna add some more. I'm gonna do the same shape on the outside and on the inside, and for this I'm gonna be using the Suva Beauty liner in the shade Dance Party. This is a nice neon yellow. And I'm just gonna be putting some music over this just so I can demo how I do the rest of my liner. Also a little intermission while I'm mixing up my liner. Another thing that I like to do is hold my breath while I do it. It might not be helpful to anyone else, but I find when I hold my breath, I'm able to have my hand a bit more steady.
Okay, real quick, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup, put on some mascara, inner corner highlight, and some lip product, and I'm gonna be wrapping up this video. And now that is the finished makeup look. If you're curious, my inner corners are Sunbeam by Cleona. For lips, I'm using the Odin's Eye Cream Lipstick in Love Jasmine. One of my favorite things about Graphic Liner is the fact that it's so bold, yet so clean. It photographs beautifully, and even when I wear my glasses, you can still see it. Maybe not on camera, but in person, you can still see it and it's very bold. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something from this video. Do let me know if this was helpful to you. This was initially going to be like one massive video where I show you guys how to do this with wet liner, with pencil liner, eyeshadow, and all of that. However, I think I'm going to be splitting this up into multiple parts because I feel like this video is quite long already with how in-depth that I'm talking with you guys about this. So be on the lookout for part two where I teach you guys how to do graphic liner with eyeshadow next. If you'd like to see more makeup content from me, then follow me on my Instagram. It's beauty by sky right here. I post all of my looks there and I'm basically on there every single day. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you here and as always, stay safe, wash your hands, and I'll see you guys in the next next video. Bye!